Okay, Tribologist here. This is um, a quick show on uh, how I use uh, the ID that Stefan and, and uh, CNC Kitchen have on using molds to make uh, socks for the for uh, the E3 E3 DV6 hot end. You know, in silicone, he used a two component, and there's other you know, and other people out there they've been using. Uh, Single component, you know, like these high temperature RTVs, but then they, they, the way they've been doing it, that they need it, then they, you know, put gloves on and kind of mush it into the, the mold. You can find it if you go and search a little bit on the web, and it's, it's an absolute total mess. But anyway, that's going to show you how I have been able to do it here. So I'm going to just take a little bit of water, you know, and put some uh, dish soap in it. And, uh, Stir that up. I'm going to do two pieces today. So I'm just going to take this one. It's already put together. You know, it's the, you can find this on Thingiverse. Stefan have a link from his uh, web page. Soak that in water. You know, and with a little bit of, of soap in it. And then uh, I'm just going to put that one together. I, I sand them a little bit. Try to get a little bit better finish on them like that. But no big deal. You know, they go together fairly straightforward. You know, there's two pieces there. Put them together with uh, a couple of long 440 screws. Put the screwdriver here. Get that one started. Nut on that one too. You know, this is a close up this core here. You know, you can see the there's a little bit of gap up here, you know, that I want to close up and make sure it, it fits well. But they don't have to be more than just snug together. Then this piece here that uh, the larger hole goes with that there, you know, there's a little hump there. That's where the nozzle sticks out, fits in. Then you have to keep track on this. This is the in, you know, where you know where that's actually the front of of the of the um, sock, you know, and also it's a good place to inject the the uh, silicone or TV because it gives it a chance to kind of spread out a little bit, you know. So that goes here, you know, in the on one side area comes together. But it's nice and one more screw if I can push that out of here. Stick that in. I had to remember that the one that's far away, that's in. Stick the nut on there. Spin that on. And tighten it up. So, I put that in the soak too. So this is just soap and water, you know, like dish soap and water, you know, to act as a curing agent and also as a mold release. So let's do this. Let's take take some RTV, put it on one side of the, I'm gonna do two, so I'm gonna put a fair amount in there. And uh, I can just pour a little bit in here. I just don't wanna wet this, this is what it takes. You know, I'm gonna take a stick, you know, and, and uh, schlubber this stuff around. A little bit more in there, you know, go back and forth a couple of times and what, I, what I'm aiming at doing here is to put this stuff up against the wall, but my goal is to make it wet, you know, and fold in water inside that silicone to make it cure. But, you know, not have to overdo it, spin it, you know, a little bit of mess here, but not big deal. Put some water on this, put the plunger back in, and I want to get rid of as much of that water as I can, you know, so I'm going to pull some vacuum on it, and put it together like that. And then all I need to do now is just take this, stick it up against here, and push until I see the, the resin or the silicone RTV coming out at the other end. Give a little bit of extra like that. Take that one, oops, far away. That's the one we want to go into. Push. I get the RTV to come out. Another key is that I'm going to take these, 
put in my storage bag, drop them in there because I want these to stay wet. And the other thing I want to do is get this little bit apart and actually suck in some liquid in it too and make sure that it's all wet. Stick it together, sip it up, and uh, tomorrow we're going to take this apart. Thanks.